the ass end of a trailer right there. And then this big boy. Oh, low bridge. Oh, okay. Another year or two and it'll be completed. Oh my goodness, there's so much rat poo in here. So fun. Greatest yeah. handlebars ever. Wow. A little bit of everything. Super fun. Downward and still fit in there. Oh, uh, yeah, keep us. That's what we really need right there is yeah. the wings. I have one wing, but I don't have a pair. Yeah, I'd take one wing. Look yeah. at the candy store. That's totally the candy <laughs> this store. This is awesome. Yeah. What would you even put in there? Not a lot, but... Uh-huh. Yeah, the things they did with these trailers. Hi friends and welcome back to the channel. I'm glad you could be here and today I've got a question for you. Now, we've probably all at some point in our lives uh, been to a graveyard, but how many of you have actually been to a vintage travel trailer graveyard? Well, that's where we're going today because we need to get some parts for Wanda here. As you can see, we're back inside this 1961 Shasta. And if you haven't tuned in before, you can see she's missing the entire kitchen, all appliances, everything. The dinette's gone and we need to get parts because we are going to try and get this thing camping in just a short few days. So um, a lot of work to be done as we're in the height of summer. Uh, it's really important for us to get out camping. Our family has always done that. We've enjoyed the freedom of that. Travel trailers pretty much exploded and flourished in post-World War II America. Um, soldiers returning from the war to end all wars you found the escape, the freedom basically, the second chance at life with these travel trailers by being able to get out in them and so that metaphor really is just perfect because we are giving these trailers a second chance at life as well the place we're going today often signals the end of the line for a lot of these trailers they're just too far gone to be repaired but again Within that, there is that second chance at life. These trailers are able to give up parts, uh, pieces of themselves, to lend to trailers that can get out on the road like Wanda here. And we're going there to see what we can do about breathing life back into Wanda, keeping the dream alive, getting back on the road, which is so important for our family and probably for a lot of you as well. So this place is amazing. Your eyes might bug out, so just be ready for that. And, and just hold on, we're going for a ride. It's gonna be a couple of hours, so, uh, uh, enjoy a little music as we drive out there for the short trip, at least in video form. So let's just pack up the tools and get to it. So this is where you want to look for trailers, passing by yards like this, um, kind of out, out of town a little ways, um, just always scanning for trailers, uh, you never know when you're going to find one. I actually found one a bunch of years ago along this stretch of road, uh, it was a total refurb, a 1958 Aljo. This is prime real estate for finding a trailer. Look at all that beauty. And the desert's not bad either. <laughs> I used to come out here and climb on these sandstone cliffs. They're so pretty. Back in high school. That's fun. There's even some uh, poles dug into the ground so you could put ropes on them for protection. That's fun. What do you mean? So you could 
walk up the back side climb. to rock climb. You can walk up the back side, tie off some rope, and then Fun. hang it over, and then you can, you know, clip in your harness. And, uh, what is this called? Is this like the San Bernardino Mountains? Yeah. Right, we made it to our destination. It's been quite a drive. Good couple hours on the road through the desert, through the hills, back through the desert again. Suit up. <laughs> there he is. Sitting there. That's sweet. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Oh my God, what's that? Weird toaster microwave. Holiday. Wow, so here we are. This place is amazing. It's like a wonderland. If they don't have it here, it might not exist. Got some sinks, need some sinks. We got your sink, oh look, there's part of a trailer right there. The ass end of a trailer right there. And then this big boy. Looks we got a door with a porthole in it right here. This is awesome. Park model then. Yeah. Not meant for the road much. Yeah, so any cabinetry would be great that I'm because I'm just missing everything. I do have a few doors, cabinet doors from a Shasta, hmm. like a 54. Oh, nice. Low, low bridge. Oh, okay. You need to? Watch your hand. Yeah, that's what I just. <laughs> yeah, I some doors. So these, I don't know if I can get these to work better. So this. This was a whole trailer when I got it. What would you even put in there? Not a lot, but... Uh-huh. Yeah, the things they did with these trailers. Wow. Oh, wow. It's like, it's kind of like Christmas. Ooh. Gotta watch your step in here. Is this all exterior trim or is any uh table table trim? Because I gotta make this the the partition between the dinette and the kitchen. You know, I just had that piece and so it's gonna have a you know a, a strip of the like the table trim on it. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, this is kind of the stuff. This is what I'd be looking for right here with the lines on it. We got right here. Some Formica. Genuine Formica. Beat up though. Oh yeah, look at there. Isn't that just the cutest? Can you even get over it? A couple of small doors here and some larger ones. Oh, are they? Because those can be kind of moved a little bit. There's a bunch of doors. There's this kind of molding. So fun. Greatest yeah. handlebars ever. Wow. A little bit of everything. Super fun. I guess we should maybe start a pile. Or does this leave it here? Well, I got a bunch of stuff laid out for you up front. So okay. Let's, just, let's do that. Let's do it. Here. to this one it does have an ice box and a stove and cute green to match but not too much else
That's what we really need right there is the wings. I have one wing, but I don't have a parrot. Yeah, I'll take one wing. It's got the hard bunk in the back. Nice little kitchen. But I tell you what, I mentioned in the last video that coming out here was going to be like actually being a kid in a candy store. And it absolutely is. Uh, I never, never cease to be amazed when I'm out here. And, uh, you know, really, really grateful for the opportunity that a place like this exists and that I've struck up a friendship uh, with the proprietor. So, thank you very much. You know who you are. Well, it is just sweltering hot out here, so I'm going to finish my tour right now and get back into the AC and get on the road. Test. Oh my goodness, there's so much rat poo in here. You, you're not even going to believe this. This is one of those occasions where nothing is savable. Look at that beautiful Dixie oven. They call that apartment model. Goes all the way down to the floor. Oh my goodness, and look at this. Beautiful old Marvel refrigerator. Just filled to the rim. My goodness, and the stench is overwhelming. We're getting out of here. It's just a shame. Look at that. Dang. Hey, it has a pencil sharpener. Sold. That looks like that probably a shower back in there. Cool rounded shower. Right in the corner. The construction on these were just amazing. parquet to it that's not not what we're looking for so it looks like these these are the jealousy type yeah but the seven inch yeah okay well let's check out the, the pile let's see what you got oh yeah okay yeah that's cool i was wondering if it had the little like diamond kind of embossing on it a little bent up, I'll have to bend it in. I think the other one that I got in there is bigger, actually. It actually looks bigger. So I don't even know if the door would work. I might have to frame it in a little bit. That's such a great little collection. Yeah. That's cute. I love that it's the same as the, the fridge or the vice box that's in there. So I wonder. Very cool. Yeah. You could like to do all of not full of uh, mice. Well, I've seen worse and I've cleaned worse, so. <laughs> and the grates, this is good. Awesome. 
Yeah, I love it. This one is 15 tall, but you want a 24, it's 28 and a half. Okay, I can work so with that. So you just cut it. Yeah, or I can make the opening even bigger, the opening bigger if I need to. I've got a drip cap for either case. Okay. Sweet. So if you cut it down to the right size, you'll use it. If you're going to leave it big, then you should. Nice. And you found a sink? I came from Here. the same trailer as the stove and the ice box. Oh, very nice. So you said that was like a 57? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, and then, oh, right the, the moon. Those are from that shaft in the back. Are they? Okay. The one that mine that's all torn up. Okay. Excellent. And... This will fit over the rim. That'll fit there. What about the 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 rim? Is that because I need to get a, a a rim for another trailer that's that's upcoming? Well, this is um, for you. Okay, awesome. The, the one you said you, you need. Yeah, do you need another that's one the that, no. Nah, I think just the one, and that's the what five on four and a half. Yes. Okay, fifteen inch, great. So these came from a Shasta. Yeah. Okay, because I got one closet that's missing a door, that bigger door. Ooh, groovy. That's the same size as that table out there. Little bridge. Such a pretty color. Love it. Cool. Showroom. That's awesome. Look yeah. at the candy store. That's totally the candy <laughs> this store. This is awesome. Yeah. What did I say? Rock and roll. I totally oh, yeah. tagged you. Yeah, I, I gave him my uh, autographed copy of cassette of Operation Mind Train. That's amazing. <laughs> you had that? Yeah, we that's sat in store amazing. at a Tower Records, and they came and signed all of it. It was a big fold-out cassette. That's fun. Yeah. Glass. Just about everything you could ever need, glass-wise. Yeah. No, no fees yeah this is what we're They'll talking about right here fees that stink. We need these, we need these. look at those clouds look at those clouds it is so beautiful oh speaking of which loading up the gear now Thank you so much. It's about damn time. 